currently we are facing a pandemic called the COVID-19 pandemic. This is a huge challenge for our society, our cultures, and of course, our economies. Our own GDP has contracted by 25%. In other words, it has tanked. Now, the pandemic is caused by a virus called the SARS coronavirus 2. I personally call it the China virus because the virus has originated from Wuhan, a city in China. This virus penetrates our cells via receptors called the ACE2 receptors or the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptors. Right? Now we also use drugs to treat hypertension, to treat heart failure and to treat diabetics with compromised kidneys with two classes of drugs called ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers. The problem is that when we use an angiotensin receptor blocker or an ACE inhibitor, then we might be increasing the expression or the quantum of the ACE2 receptors. Now the ACE2 receptors are important because this virus enters our cells via this receptor. Now if this receptor is increased, it was presumed that then we would be more vulnerable to COVID-19 and also if we got infected, we were more vulnerable to the toxicity of this virus. And in fact, suggestions were made initially in the months of March and April that one avoids ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers. However, data has emerged over the last few months that there is no difference if you use an ACE inhibitor or an angiotensin receptor blocker in patients of hypertension or in patients of heart failure who are infected by COVID-19. One data is uh, from Denmark which had almost 4,500 people. Of these 4,500 4, people, 20% were taking either an ACE inhibitor or an angiotensin receptor blocker like Telvisartan. And then the researchers uh, calculated whether there was any effect of these drugs in patients infected with COVID-19 virus. And they found to a great relief that there was no difference in the prevalence of the infection. There was no difference in the uh, seriousness of the infection. And above all, there was no difference in deaths in the patients who received an angiotensin receptor blocker like Telmisartan or an ACE inhibitor as compared to the people, the patients who were not receiving these drugs. So the message was clear that ACE inhibitors or an angiotensin receptor blocker do not in any way modify the disease caused by COVID-19. There was another study which came from Wuhan. This had about 1,100 patients of COVID-19. One third of these uh, patients were on an ACE inhibitor or an angiotensin receptor blocker. And one third of these patients had hypertension. Now we all know that if you have hypertension, you are at a greater risk of problems if you get infected by COVID-19. The Chinese study, again, it was a retrospective study, showed very clearly that the usage of telmisartan or an angiotensin receptor blocker or an ACE inhibitor did not change the prevalence of the disease nor did it affect the seriousness or the gravity of the disease and again above all it did not change the numbers of deaths in patients who were on an ACE inhibitor or who were not on an ACE inhibitor. Now an ACE, an ACE inhibitor or an angiotensin receptor blocker actually nullifies the effect of angiotensin receptor 2. Now this is a protein which causes a vasoconstriction which means it constricts the arteries and veins in the human body. So if you use an angiotensin receptor blocker you reduce the uh, contraction or the constriction of arteries therefore therefore you reduce afterload and preload that helps in hypertension and also helps in patients with heart failure. 
In fact, we have randomized studies with the NACE inhibitor, which have shown that there is a significant reduction in mortality and an improvement in quality of life in patients of heart failure who were on an ACE inhibitor or an angiotensin receptor blocker. And there is this huge study with the Valsartan and Sacubitril, which was the paradigm study, which had 8,000 patients of heart failure, which showed that people with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, if they were given a combination of a Sacubitril and Valsartan, as compared to enalapril, which is an ACE inhibitor, there was a significant reduction in mortality and a significant reduction in hospitalization for heart failure. Now, why do I emphasize on this fact? Because we are now living, we are forced to now live with the SARS coronavirus. This virus will not go away. This will hang on for the next uh, three, four, five years. So we should not hesitate to use these drugs in patients of hypertension or in patients of heart failure. The other way in which these drugs work is that they improve or rather prevent the remodeling of the heart. Now, if you have hypertension or if you have heart failure, there is a chance that the heart becomes hypertrophied, it becomes thicker, it becomes larger, and it also gets dilated. Now, that is called remodeling in the milieu of heart failure. So, these drugs prevent the dilatation or the thickening of the heart. Now, there is another very important data which I must emphasize, and that is a paper which was published last month or possibly in July in JAMA, cardiology. This was a paper on cardiac MRI. A lot of people consider this paper to be the most important paper in the last 10 years in cardiology. In fact, 5 lakh downloads have been employed regarding this paper. This paper has been downloaded five and a half lakh times, thereby emphasizing the fact that this is a very, very important paper. What was this paper? This paper came from Germany. What they did was they took about 100 people who were confirmed infected by COVID-19 by a PCR test and did their MRIs two months after their infection. Of these 100 people, one third were serious who required admission in hospitals, but two thirds were, had mild infection who got managed in their homes. They were either asymptomatic or had very, very mild uh, symptoms. Now, what was seen in the cardiac MRI? The cardiac MRI showed that almost 70% of these people had an ongoing inflammation of the heart. Now, this was confirmed by abnormal T1s and T2, and also these patients had raised troponins. Also, these people had dilated uh, hearts and a reduced ejection fraction. There was some criticism of this paper, so they had answered to these criticisms. And finally, the researchers had confirmed or rather reiterated that a large number of people infected by COVID-19, despite the fact that they are uh, asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic, continue to have an ongoing inflammation which is confirmed by a cardiac MRI. Now, what is the significance of this? The significance is not yet known exactly, but we can presume that people who have COVID-19 and who have an ongoing inflammation as late as more than two months after the onset of symptoms, there could be a chance that these people would go on to develop heart failure or to develop myocarditis. Anyway, the cardiac MRI is emphasizing that these people are having myocarditis, which was confirmed again by endomyocardial biopsies in the few patients who were admitted in the hospital. And this showed that there was infiltration by lymphocytes. Now, the classic definition of myocarditis is infiltration of the heart by lymphocytes, which are white cells. So now we have information from this cardiac MRI study from Germany that people, a large number of people, almost two thirds, if not more, people infected by COVID-19 do develop myocarditis. And there is an ongoing inflammation beyond too much, which can be confirmed non-invasively by cardiac MRI. And what are the ramifications of this? There is always a chance that these people may go on to develop heart failure. So therefore we get in to the game of treating heart failure by an angiotensin receptor blocker or an ACE inhibitor. But I must qualify my last statement by
by saying that there is no randomized trial as yet which has used an ACE inhibitor or an angiotensin receptor blocker in patients of myocarditis or heart failure of patients with COVID-19. With that, I will end this. That means uh, you should not hesitate to use an angiotensin receptor blocker like telmisartan or losartan in patients of COVID-19 or an ACE inhibitor. You should continue using these drugs regardless of the infection or past infection. You continue to use these drugs to treat hypertension and to treat heart failure and to protect the kidneys of patients of diabetes with heart failure or hypertension. Thank you very much.